Does it impact our public health at the moment? Not really. Uh, it's good to know it's out there. A rare flu discovered in Canada for the first time. A case of H1N2, an influenza virus similar to H1N1, identified in a person in central Alberta. But health experts say there is no reason to panic. The isolated case was identified mid-October. The person contracted the virus after coming in contact with swine, showed minor symptoms and has since recovered. H1N2 is another variant or, or viral strain of influenza. And this one most likely came from mixing a human seasonal flu, H3N2, with a, um, a pig virus of H1N1. So the, we could get new viruses if one animal gets infected at the same time by two different viral strains. It's relatively common in pigs. It's actually not even uncommon for it to be in a herd and, and not show any signs of clinical disease. Uh, but when it does show up, typically it's pretty mild. Uh, similar, I would say, to what, you know, what we would see in humans. There's some mild respiratory illness that can happen. It rarely spreads to people with only 27 cases reported worldwide since 2015. The majority of them have a direct connection with an animal, uh, and a small, small number of them have a connection with somebody who's in a household uh, close contact situation. And for anyone concerned about catching H1N2 from infected pork... H1N2 is not a food-related illness. It is not transmissible to people through pork meat or other products that come from pigs. There is no risk associated with eating pork. While it may seem like health officials are making a big deal over a rare virus, it's still important to do a full investigation. We are working closely with Alberta Agriculture and Forestry and Alberta Health Services Local Public Health to determine the source of the virus and to verify that no spread occurred. As we've seen with the coronavirus, we want to make sure that there's openness. We, we want everybody to know where and when viral variants appear. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.